Hi everyone, this is Lauren, and one of my favorite activities aside from yoga is snowboarding. So here's a couple of good stretches you can do with your snowboard still on, on the mountain, midday, to help relieve some of that soreness that you get while you're riding. So the first one is super easy. It's a little version of Pashimottanasana, a little Pashimottanasana with your board on. So all you're going to do is flex your feet, firm thighs, pull up on the kneecaps, and stretch forward. If you can't reach your board, you can hold onto your ankles or your shins or your calves, whatever. If you can reach your board, lift your heart up, stretch forward from the low back, bend the elbows and pull slightly to bring your chest towards the front of the board. Keep flexing those feet, you'll get a great stretch in the calves and the hamstrings. I'll give you some more tips at the top of the mountain. So do you ever notice how your thighs get super sore when you snowboard? Mine certainly do. A great way to warm up for that in your yoga practice is by doing a lot of warriors, warrior two is great, the grass in a two, utkatasana, chair pose. But in the meanwhile, of course I can't bust out some yoga poses on the mountain with my snowboard on. So here's a little bit of an alternative for a thigh stretch. So you're gonna lie on your belly, nice and chilly in the snow. Bring two hands in front of you so you're resting on your elbows. Elbows are about the same distance as yours. And then all you gotta do is bend your knees. You might even feel a stretch just like this already. Scoop in your belly and pull the front of your pelvis up or press your pubic bone into the snow. That way your low back is protected. And then try to point your feet a little bit. Grab the back of your snowboard as if you're doing a crazy jump. And then just pull a little bit. It's important to do this stretch on both sides. The other thing I'm doing is taking my right shoulder here and I'm rolling it back. So I'm getting a bit of a stretch in my pec minor as well as my rotator cuff. It feels really great. <laughs> So when you're done on one side, go repeat on the other. Continue down the mountain, and I'll show you some more snowboarding stretches in a bit. They don't call it snowga for nothing. Get to the end of the day, you know, your muscles are really nice and warmed up. Maybe the air is getting a little bit more chilly. So here's an awesome stretch to do with your snowboard on towards the end of the day. Towards the end of your yoga practice, we often take some back bends, and towards the end of our snowboard day, we're gonna take a little modified Snoga, yoga, ustrasana with our snowboard on. So that's camel pose. What you're gonna do is descend your tailbone, scoop your low belly in and up, actively press the hips forward, and then we're gonna lift the chest, the low ribs. We're gonna lift them up, back, rolling our shoulders back, getting a really nice stretch in our piriformis muscle, and a great back bend. So here it goes. Hold on to the snowboard, lean back, press the tailbone down, scoop the low belly in and up, and then lift the ribs, stretch it forward. Oh, it feels fantastic. Use your abdominal muscles to help you up. You can place a hand on the hip and slowly come up. Sit down on the back of your heels. Take a breather. Maybe go for a second set. I'll give you a side view, so a second set. Lift up, push the front of the hips forward, scoop the low belly. Find the back of your board, keep pushing the hips forward, and then lift the ribs, roll the shoulders back, look up. for the thighs, the quads, and the hip flexors. Anyways, hope you had a great day outdoors. I know we have, and I'll see you on the mat.